Tim here with a short video about my new flag and the uh, DIY flag holder that I made for it. I am using my phone and we are getting some wind gusts every so often so I will try to keep this short. Uh, the flag is a uh, marine or a water type flag used for boats. It's from a company called Allegiant Flag Supply. A uh, really good American company, high quality, everything's made in the U.S., double stitching, really good fabric and material, um, so I'd highly recommend it. Uh, so let's go up and take a look. Okay, this flag, um, as I said, it's uh, made for boats, even though I'm using it on my uh, ambulance here, but it it's made for boats, so it is a little more, I think, rugged. Um, it's on a fiberglass pole. And it is made to go inside the tubes that you see on boats where people put their, their fishing poles when they're doing fishing out in the water, you know, on the ocean or lakes, I guess. Um, so, the flag did come in a, a hard cardboard tube, which I have repurposed or re, reused. I put the flag in it and it, for now, you know, when I'm not flying it. I do not fly the flag while I'm driving, um, only when I've set up camp somewhere. And it, they come in different sizes, and they of course make flags for your homes and residents. Um, you know, I just wanted this because it, it's more durable, I feel, because it's used on boats and out on, out in the ocean or, you know, where it gets moisture. But you can see the stitching, every stripe, you know, this isn't painted or anything. Each stripe is painted, is uh, sewn together. The stars are all stitched. Uh, nothing is, you know, like I said, painted or, or screen printed or anything. Very good quality, very strong material. It comes with a uh, this little guy here that you wrap around it and then wrap around your uh, the tube on your boat or wherever you, you're mounting it to help keep it from coming out when you're say there's a lot of wind or you're traveling fast. It does come with a little decal as well. Um, but like I said, this is made to go in a, uh, a tube that you'd normally put your fishing rod. So instead of buying one, I made my own. Uh, and the whole setup cost about $11. I bought the tubing, or the pipe, it's a PVC. Fits perfect, I mean it is, there's no, barely any movement. So bought this, cut it you know to the length that I wanted then at the hardware store they also sell these rubber couplings that you can use to join tubes and this is all in the plumbing section so I bought one of those which I used with these uh, hose clamps around this part of the the roof rack here so it is solid but the nice thing about it is because of this foam the, the flag is comes uh, set in and because of this rubber that I put you know I slid this PVC tubing into um, when the flag is flying you don't get that vibration or that noise that sometimes can travel through into the you know the vehicle you don't hear it like I did on my previous flag I'd hear it all you know if I had it out at night I could hear the flag fluttering because it was kind of moving and it was shaking everything else um, on the bottom of the this pipe, I've just got these little caps that are also in the plumbing section. They're used to, uh, when you pressure test up something, you, they, they fit in really snug. So I put one in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. And then I bought an extra one so when I take the flag out, I can just slide this into the top here. And that'll keep water from building up inside. Um, and keep dirt and anything else from going inside. But this is a really easy do-it-yourself. You know, you can mount it different ways. 
uh, to different things, but it makes it really simple to, to put the flag in when I set up camp somewhere. Um, it's not going to come out, you know, unless there was some really strong updraft that could somehow pick it up and pull it out. But if it's really windy, I'll wrap this around and then around the something down here to, to keep the flag snug. So, uh, like I said, $11 for all the parts at the local hardware store, the clamps, or the hose clamps, this rubber piece, the tube, which came in three feet sections, and I just cut the, what I wanted, and these parts right here. And that's really all that was needed. It's solid. When I'm driving, you know, of course, I don't have the flag in. This, you know, isn't moving at all, going anywhere. Um, and I, you can see I've got my foam and booster down on that, that wrap part there, flag here. And then I've got a pole for my weather instruments. So, good flag, Allegiance fl su Flag Supply. Uh, I'd recommend them, you know, this, they come with really good quality parts, and uh, that's my, my take, my review on the flag and my uh, do-it-yourself flag holder.